Hey, this is Trish, and today is Tuesday, so I kind of am feeling a little Tundra Tuesday vibe going on. But mostly I wanted to talk about what you might already be experiencing with your food and fitness journey that we're on this month, and that is how annoying it is to actually prepare food at home. <laughs> um, and so one of the things that I wanted to do was just talk a little bit about food prep from the perspective of Tantra. Tantra is all about mindfulness. Um, if you have ever studied Taoism, um, you, Buddhism, you're very familiar with that concept of mindfulness. But even being mindful takes effort. Being in the moment, being in the now, it takes considerable effort in our crazy crazy social media uh, driven lives that we lead. Um, and so you need to breathe. And one of the things that has always been really hard for me to kind of deal with, cope with, and actually just get over <laughs> is this notion that I've got to I gotta cook every day three times a day. I've gotta cook and then and then that means I've gotta clean up three times a day and it's annoying. And so those very mundane tasks um that are <sighs> tiresome, tedious, annoying, we can go on, but we won't. And what really helped me, um, and I have to remind myself of this constantly, is to turn mundane tasks into a meditation. Turn the process of being mindful, the process of being in the now, make it a meditation. Um, so when you look at, okay, I've got to chop all these vegetables for dinner, think, oh my God, I've got to chop all these vegetables for dinner. Just say, okay, I'm chopping this onion. This onion is giving me certain nutrients that my body, that my kids, that my family need to have, like sulfur. I'm chopping this red bell pepper, and I'm grateful to have this food, and I'm grateful that this red bell pepper is going to give me three times the vitamin C as an orange, and the seeds are full of bioflavonoids. You know, so that as you chop, you do it mindfully, and so it kind of helps, and it feels silly at first, I know. But um, it really does help take some of the, the chore aspect out of the mundane. Remember, meditation, the word is rooted in medi, which means to heal. And so if you can turn your chore into a meditation, if you can take this process of being mindful and think of it as I am healing myself, I am healing my body, I'm healing my family, it can make these mundane chores a little bit more tolerable until you can learn to like them. I still don't like chopping onions. <laughs> and I never will. But at least I can uh, now I can now approach it with an attitude of gratefulness, you know, just being grateful, gratitude toward uh, having food to eat and um, gratitude that my family is safe. And if you can start to think of those things, it will help you because remember, food is nutrition for your body. It, and so if you can put good thoughts into your food that just energetically, karmically puts good, good energy back into your body. So I just wanted to throw that out there for you. Take your mundane chores, approach them with mindfulness and gratitude and make them a meditation so they're not so annoying. Okay. All right. I love you and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.